So Marco has like a thing with kissing Ellie's eye and Ellie is only okay with it because it's Marco. She's really, really in love. She gets to kiss like his chin area though. So she loves it. She loves it. Well, um, I think I'm looking forward to cracking up. Uh, I hope I can like, you know, totally crack up. So uh, I haven't like totally cracked up in a long time. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My hair is, it's okay. Anyway, I'm just really trying to distract from the galaxy that is being formed on this side of my face with pimples. You can't see it because of the lighting, but there's a lot going on there. There's a lot, trust me. You may not be able to see it, but I certainly can feel it on my face. They hurt so much, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, today's episode is episode two of my legacy challenge. So I'm, is it episode two? So my plan for Ellie today is to have some sort of a routine going on. It's the way that my brain works and it's the way that I play in The Sims. Ellie's goal is to become famous. So I want her to have some sort of routine going on with her fame, but the aspiration that she needs to complete for this challenge is a successful lineage challenge. And the problem with the successful lineage challenge is that the last goal to hit for the aspiration is for your child or your grandchild to be at the top of their career. I believe it's something along those lines. Anyway, that's really hard to hit if you choose to have kids as an adult because from there on you become an elder and then you die. <laughs> So I really want her to complete the aspiration before she dies. So that would mean that she has to have a child as a young adult, which wasn't part of my plans. And it's certainly not part of Ellie's plan. We're gonna have to try to make that work somehow. I'm gonna have to squeeze that into my storyline somehow because that's the way that I designed my challenge. <laughs> anyway, I'm really excited to play. So let's just play. Before we get started, don't forget to do your YouTube Holy Trinity in the name of the like, comment and subscribe. All right, so Ellie is slumbering. She is having her heavenly sleep. It's about 1.30 in the morning and Ellie is sleeping. I love her. I should do a little bit of a backstory for Ellie. Ellie is actually the child of my sim and my partner sim. So she is my hypothetical daughter. I feel like at some point in the game, I definitely have described that, but she is my hypothetical daughter. So I have, I have affection for her. <laughs> New skill day was successful. Of course it was, it always is. Let's take a look at the calendar. It's, ooh, how perfect. It's Monday. She's starting a new routine. Oh my God, it's magical. Monday is like the fresh start for everything. If I have a goal in mind, if I wanna lose weight, if I wanna start, you know, taking better care of my hair, if I wanna start doing anything in my life, it always starts on a Monday. Ellie's just like me. So it's Monday and for this episode, we're gonna be focusing solely on her having a routine. So possibly for the next couple of days, she's gonna be doing the same things over and over and over again. Her birthday is in a couple of weeks. So I definitely want her to have a child possibly in the summer or in the fall. Fall being the latest that she can have a child. So let's get her on a routine. Let's focus on her fame. She's really close to becoming a three-star celebrity. She hasn't done much on her aspirations. She needs to host a meet and greet. I don't know if I'm going to do that in this episode quite yet, but let's look at the rest of her aspiration. Um, Become a four-star celebrity. Be asked three times for a selfie. Deal with the paparazzi three times. Become a five-star celebrity. Receive 25 positive responses from inciting cheers and sign three autographs. There is no way that I think I'm going to finish this aspiration. I am just playing it just to move her along, her being a celebrity. Inciting 25 goddamn times, that's a lot The Sims. That's a lot to ask for from little old me. Okay, so it's about 6.30 in the morning. I think I can wake her up. Her social is a bit down, not a big deal. I'm gonna take care of her needs even though she doesn't really have a lot of needs to be taken care of. She is gonna go ahead and make herself a watermelon salad. That sounds so delicious for breakfast. Just delicious, fresh fruit. What else is in the watermelon salad? It better not be cucumbers. It better not be cucumbers. That does not sound delicious. Anyway, she's having herself a nice, fresh 
fruit salad. That sounds delicious. I really want pineapples right now. Watermelon and pineapple. Okay, so her plants are watering themselves. I'm just gonna turn this off. And then we're gonna begin a stream instead of beginning a recording. If she wants to record anything, we'll go over here. But with this, we're gonna do a live stream. That way she gains fame while also recording and she doesn't have to sit down and edit it or anything. And what she's going to be doing is spray for bugs and then encourage crop go go encourage crop growth. And there's I don't think there's anything to do here. The best way to learn gardening in The Sims is the oversized crop because with these you won't have that much interactions. You'll have the research button available, but fertilize, weed and water isn't available every day. But for the oversized crop, there is almost always something to do, whether it's spraying for bugs, taking out the weeds, encouraging crop growth, talking to the plants, fertilizing, like there's just a lot that you can do. I'm, I invested in some fertilizer, that way she can fertilize the crop also. This is gonna be a very passive hobby for her. Losing control from fear of unfulfilled dreams, from people, per she's all alone. I'm sorry. She's fine now. She's fine. She's fine. We do have a couple of bucks. Plus, we also have a sponsorship. I'm going to buy on another component, maybe an HD camera. Perfect. So she does have another uh, gig lined up, I guess. And this is for fishing. So her money came in. Oh, look. Her I bought a house made 428 simoleons all by itself. I knew that was a good one. And her bills are in also. Oh my gosh. Let me go to her. Let's pay our bills. She paid her bills. We don't have too much money left, but it's okay because 400 and some bucks on one video, she is good. There is a nice little pond across the way. So I'm just gonna go here with Ellie. There is her drone and now she can begin a recording of her fishing. There we go. Maybe we'll catch a fish or two and then we can end the recording. Her social is really low, so perhaps oh my god i'm so tempted she does want to chat with caleb so i think i am gonna invite him over and then she can also discuss fears of fulfilling wants just because this is a want of hers she can just discuss it right with him i mean if it was with marco i would have done it with marco okay but it's not with marco so did she catch anything yet let's fast forward Ellie feels right at home by the water with her fishing line cast is this a revelation that she likes fishing sure Fishing video, what was it called again? No fish left behind. Oh my God. We're gonna invite Caleb over incredibly quickly. Oh my God, Marco, it's Marco. It's Marco, he's right here. Like literally that's our house right there. He's passing by it, Marco. Okay, Marco. All right, so let's invite Caleb in. Let's just have a nice little chat. Let's discuss our interests with Marco. That should fulfill this want because she wants to chat with her crush. She's very sad. She probably saw Marco and was like, what the hell? Where was he? Why didn't he come visit me? Okay, so she's gonna go ahead and discuss her fears with Caleb. Okay, she's closer from happy memories with Caleb because he gave her good advice. I think Caleb is probably more like, I don't know how to feel about you. You're in a relationship, but I really like you, but I'm a good friend of yours. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what to do with Ellie. Make out with Marco. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna pin that. And since she has that want, regrettably, I'm gonna ask him to just be friends. What is he talking to? Discuss local fishing spots. I don't have plans to cheat with Caleb at all. <laughs> I love Caleb, okay? I love Caleb, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna cheat with Caleb. She's not, we're not gonna have a baby out of darkness and chaos, okay? Because honestly, I would love for her to have a baby with, with Caleb. But I have a whole separate game going where he's, he's the baby daddy and they're madly in love and he's just amazing. That's not going to be the life that we're going to be giving Ellie, though. I think Caleb is going to be a good best friend, if I'm going to be completely honest. So wait, become best friends before you go, and then you can go, and then you can go. 
because she does still have to edit her video. See, she can still have a social life. Transfer videos to, oh my God, the humor and hijinks festival. Ellie and Alvaro have fallen out of touch and are no longer best friends. Yeah, that hasn't happened for a long time. The humor and hijinks festival is one that I love going to, but we're actually going to skip it tonight. She's gonna finish editing this video, even though I do believe that she doesn't need to edit it. Oh, Darian's inviting us to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. He's a white wolf now. He was typically a black wolf. From missing a party, the second worst thing about missing a party is hearing all about the awesome parties that Ellie missed. What parties did we miss? We're going to be planning a lot of parties. I mean, I don't know why I chose the party animal because I'm I'm not a party animal. By hyping up a crowd and performing party tricks, I hate, I don't like this trait. It's so stupid. I think once she's done adding the effects and doing all of that, then we can, we can post the video. She leveled up, uh, upload video for fame. She leveled up with uh, her media production and skills. Hashtagging has become second nature to Ellie. She can now produce more tracks and has additional remix options on the music station. Should she try like remixing her own music as well? Ellie, that footage was spot on. You nailed the exact trend that our client requested. We didn't have to edit a thing. You know what that means, right? More money for you, cha-ching, cha-chi, The video has been uploaded and expect daily royal payment royal payments let's see she does have another video I'm just gonna look at her energy really quickly she has to use the bathroom she does have to eat she's getting a little bit tired and her hygiene is a little bit low we do have some extra watermelon salad so that is what she's gonna eat then i'm gonna have her pee like a little champion and that's it, that's it. That's pretty much her routine for the day. She's gonna be editing a video, streaming something, and uh, that's her life. Oh my God, that seems kind of boring. But how about she kind of streams herself going for a nice little jog? I think that'll be nice, like a nice little night jog. It's a great way for her to protect herself while jogging at night, you know, streaming herself live. Who's gonna mess with her live? Camilla! Are you here because we're famous? Oh, her shoes are gone too. Oh man, I really deleted a lot of stuff that I shouldn't have deleted. So this is the house that we're gonna be moving into. It's a house with a uh, lot challenges, a lot of lot challenges, but you know, maybe she jogs past it every day and sees it and it's a really nice house and she doesn't understand why no one's buying it. And then she'll understand why people weren't buying it. <laughs> the hard way. Ellie is at risk of losing her indoorsy lifestyle. I am okay with that. She is going to be outdoorsy a little bit more. She needs to learn how to manage all those emotional bombs a little bit better. I'm gonna have her take a quick shower and then she is gonna go to bed. You know, it is kind of good that uh, Marco isn't around and that he's not super needy because taking care of two Sims while trying like to hustle progressively is a lot of work. So I'm really glad that she's all by herself. Ooh, she's up a little bit late. It is 7.40 in the morning. She's gonna go collect her drone from the outdoors. It stood there all night. And then we are going to go take care of our oversized crop. And this is like her daily to-dos. She's just streaming the things that she does every day. This is what I do. She's a lifestyle guru. We're gonna sell our roses. Ellie has 525,000 followers. How isn't she like more famous? I'm sure in Simlandia, that's a lot. That's a lot of followers. Uh-oh, her streaming drone is down. So she's gonna go ahead and she's going to repair that. There's no upgrade option right now because she has to repair it. But I do wanna upgrade it at some point. I think Marco is going into like programming that, no, programming and handiness are two different things. Yeah, I don't know if uh, Marco is gonna be handy. Marco to me seems like somebody who wants to work in an office and doesn't wanna get his hands dirty, whereas Caleb was okay getting his hands dirty and he actually liked working. So once again, her social is pretty low. We're gonna invite uh, Marco over today and we're gonna make out with him, so <laughs> that'll be fun. All right, so Ellie is taking care of her needs and she has decided to invest into a storage system. I'm kind of thinking, let me see, maybe this green one. I'm going to set the label as family heirlooms. 
I think this will be like a really fun, cute idea. Um, my Sims inventory always gets super cluttered and I hate it. I don't love letting go of things, especially if they do have some sort of a sentimental value. So I am going to set this box as family heirlooms and there'll be things that can be passed down through generations. For example, Ellie is going to be getting a lot of these like celeb serum potions because that is part of her celebrity. I'm actually gonna put them in there and anytime that we need a little pick me up in the future, one of her great great grandkids can use it. So I think that'll be a fun idea. And then this other pink one is just gonna be uh, random stuff. So I'm gonna open up random stuff and I'm gonna put in her random stuff. And in this one, I'm gonna put the Celeba Serum. I'm also gonna put this voodoo doll. Since Ellie does like to sing, I'm just gonna put her microphone in there, but she is not gonna become a singer. I know that sucks. Right, so it is 1.30 p.m. and she still hasn't really done anything. So we're gonna study some trends. Let's see what kind of videos are trendy. The following are now trending. Guitar, toy review, Salvadorian culture and dazed vlog. Hi neighbor, just letting you know that I moved in nearby. Maybe come over if you want, don't be a stranger. Who are you? Beach Byway, this bought my house. Who are you? They are not gonna last here. This is my house. So while I'm here, I can show you the grand tour of my house. Who died here? And you killed somebody in this house. So I actually have to go in and fix this house up because I took out these walls because I made a short of this room. It is most likely not playable, but there is a bathroom here. And then there's like a hallway with both the doors. That's what that's supposed to be like. And then we have our big living space. I really wanted the rest of the house to kind of break out into a ton of little rooms and then for them to have like a large living space. But the whole idea of like this space is this is the space that like the family kind of gathers in they do their homework here they watch movies together they eat dinner so this is supposed to be like the family gathering area and then they can go straight into their backyard where they can like get cozy chill or like swim it was such like a cozy idea family idea in my head and then this went ahead and bought it like hello who are you get out of my house we will buy it off of this person for a really good price so she is having herself a little drink. Smooth sipping. Hopefully at some point she can feel dazed so we can record. Uh, nice house, whatever your name is. I'm very, very, very happy for you. I hope the lot challenges don't bother you too much because I will be repurchasing this home very, very soon. Her social need is still down. So you know what? Let's also invite Marco over. We're gonna save these weeds for tomorrow murdering. I took out the mod that actually gets her drunk because I do believe that's the slice of mod, the slice of life mod. And that, that mod is so glitchy. As fun as it is, it's so glitchy. So let's just uh, talk about cooking. I don't know. Have yourself a nice little conversation with him. She's asking for advice on a social bunny post, but what she's really doing is she's kind of talking about a situation where like somebody's boyfriend passed by and they didn't even stop by their house and she kind of doesn't understand what's going on. So she's asking him for advice on that kind of situation. Maybe she can ask him like, hey, how's college going? Caress his cheek. I hate that this comes up all the time. Smooth apology. I don't know what she did to him. I don't know why that notification always comes up, but she's gonna smoothly apologize to him ask about degree is majoring in computer sciences oh look he's super flirt leave me alone jeffrey who is this person why does she keep walking by if you mess with my man all right so i'm gonna have ellie drink this flirty celeba serum because marco is in a flirty mood and we have a shower we have a bed did she drink it? Where is it? Did she drink it? What happened to it? Why is she not feeling flirty? They are definitely having a suggestive conversation. What happened though? Ooh, okay, Marco. Let's see, let's see if he changes my mind on him. Invite to stay the night. Aw, he's so adorable. A sleepover sounds great. Let's move that in like a different direction. She's gonna kiss his neck. Ooh, you guys can't see that. That's my daughter. Dude, you better not be tired. Hey, I heard you became friends. Chloe, 
what's up? You know that's my dream house. Me and Chloe are going to have to have a conversation. She knows that's our dream house. Her and Chloe kind of always have little tiffs with each other. Chloe is a much more, she's like very serious and she tends to rub people the wrong way. Kiss. Oh, she wanted to make out with him. I think they have to sit on the couch together though. No, 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 no. Do not go upstairs. Do not go into my bed. Do not do that because I swear to God, I will punch you in the throat. Yeah, they can sit on the bed together. I hope they they don't sit like on opposite sides of the bed and then face away from each other. That'll be so unromantic. Flirty things are happening and they're both going upstairs. Ha 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 ha. Uh-uh, wake his ass up. He's so boring. It's not even eight o'clock at night. And Marco, I mean, at the very same time, Marco is going to university. He's going for his college degree. He has a very different life than Ellie. Can they pillow fight together? No, he fell asleep again. Wake him up. Okay. He, he doesn't, he doesn't want to do anything. So they're going to go to sleep at 8.30. Well, she's up. The flirty feeling is gone. So it is almost three o'clock in the morning. She's going to use the bathroom. She's probably going to eat the last one of her watermelon salads. Marco does not deserve breakfast from us because... He came over literally just to go to sleep. Like, dude, you stood the night. Stay the night. You know what I mean? You enjoy the night. Instead, she's up at 2.30 in the morning grabbing herself a watermelon salad and about to go outside and garden in the dark. Like, hello. Begin recording Marco. Can she do that? What is she going to be recording? Is that like, can that be used to like spy on somebody? It's not doing anything. Okay, we're not going to do that. He's coming down though. How is he feeling? Marco, what is wrong? Can we discuss these emotions? Let's discuss this angry mood of yours. Well, can we call him out then for doing that? Like, hello, you know what, Marco? I'm not in the mood to deal with you. Throw that away and then begin your streaming. Where's Marco? Did he leave? Oh no, he's right there. Ooh, look, she's thinking about the ring. They still haven't made out. We have to move quickly. We have to move quickly. There it is. Make out. Make out with your hairy legs. I love it. Okay, Marco is a little bit taller, so he's like kissing her in the eye. So Marco has like a thing with kissing Ellie's eye and Ellie is only okay with it because it's Marco. She's really, really in love. She gets to kiss like his chin area though. So she loves it. She loves it. She's feeling confident. He's, he's peeing. Hope that aim is straight. I don't know if anything is gonna happen between Marco and Ellie, but Marco is a really big distraction right now. And it's broken again? Ugh, Ellie is gonna go repair her drone, which has somehow broken again. Marco is, oh, he's doing his homework here. Good for Marco. I'm just really proud of him for doing his homework. He's on top of it. He's not missing a beat with his productivity. That's exactly what Ellie needs around her. I cannot wait to change her outfit because I can't stand seeing her hairy legs. I'm gonna need everyone to stop like congratulating me on meeting Leah because that bitch isn't lasting in my house. I'm so mad that like as soon as I put the plot of land there, somebody already took it. Woo -woo! She's getting 1,343 simoleons daily from her uploads. No fish left behind is $326 her day. I mean, not bad. Ellie has also reached level three handiness. Ellie now has a chance to find rare parts and can carve a few more sculptures. All right, so Marco's on his way out. How's he looking? Is he looking kind of down? Marco's looking a little bit down. I mean, he could have made a move. Is he mad because she didn't quite make a move? Ugh, okay, uh, that took forever, but I needed to do that in order to get her to scavenge for parts for just in case she does find a good upgrade kind of part. Did she find any another common upgrade part? Okay, that's fine. All right, Ellie is feeling a little bit tense because she's not having any fun, which I guess I understand. And this, instead of streaming it, we're gonna be recording it. Lifestyle loss. Ellie has lost the indoorsy lifestyle. She'll have to work hard if she wants it back. No, thank you. Maintaining my my small co-op. Right? Is that what a co-op is? Ooh, ooh. She can sell her birds of paradise and her roses and then she can also water all of those. Anything else? All right, we can finally upload uh, this gardening video. 
It's great. But she's going to upload it for fame just to give her that little bit of fame kick because she hasn't kind of done anything for fame. All right. The most recent video that Ellie recorded is Catching Waves and has been nominated for an award. We're not going to go to that. But it was a good quality video. She spent some time with Marco, which is, you know, cool, I guess. It's always cool. All right. So I have her making some fish tacos for a very late night dinner. And then she's going to go to bed. Um, I was kind of thinking of inviting inviting Marco over again, but I'm kind of not. His degree is in progress. Ellie did gain a crush on him. I'm not sure at what point, but she she gained a crush on him, which is good for Marco because that crush was reserved for Caleb, if we don't recall. That is actually where I'm gonna leave things. Like I said, it was gonna be a little bit more of a boring episode simply because I just wanted her to be on a routine. She definitely has enough time to socialize and kind of like have a life and maybe party and still gain fame. But I gotta tell you, gaining fame is really, really, really hard. So next episode, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really try hard to just get that three star and then progress her really quickly into the four star. Anyway, this is where I'm gonna be leaving Miss Ellie for the day. Oh boy, Ellie can sometimes be emotionally exhausting. <sighs> so I had a feeling that today's episode was gonna be a little bit boring. I tried to spice it up with Marco, but he did not take the bait. Mm -mm. We're gonna have to work on spontaneity with uh, Marco. I'm gonna try to set up a few bombs here and there for Ellie. I know that there's like a closet system that I have that typically makes Sims woohoo a lot. And I think if you make the lot have like a romantic aura, that'll inspire Simmies to kind of woohoo together. Um, and that's what I'm looking for. I want them to woohoo by themselves. <laughs> Anyway, at least now we know that Ellie can have a little bit of a life and try to achieve fame at the same time. But achieving fame has to be her main priority. So it would be really nice if Marco were a little bit more spontaneous and just took initiative when it came to their relationship. It would be really cool. And with that, I'm done for today. If you guys like this video, if you like some stuff, if you like these cute little episodes, don't forget to do the YouTube Holy Trinity, of course. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Bye. I really wish Marco would just take the initiative. What else do I have to do in order to have two sims just woohoo by themselves? Is it weird that that's what I want them to do? Is that weird? I don't know. You let me know in the next episode. Bye.